Hello guys. So today we will learn how to construct NAND gate in SANA. Okay. So this is uh, my SANA GUI. I will go for new design and I will name it as uh, NAND gate. And it's on you where you want to save this design. Okay, so I have created this design. I will add library. Okay. All these things I have already taught in previous classes. Now I will go for cell. I will create one new cell, and I will give it name as cell name as NAND. Okay, this you can see. I have given name NAND. Okay, and this is a symmetric. My cell is created with the name of NAND as you can see on here left hand side this NAND cell. Why I have given name as NAND because I am going to use this NAND gate in different symmetric also in future like in half header or in full header. So I will save this NAND, NAND gate using CMOS and uh, I will use this in future half header, full header, whatever the circuit I am going to design. If NAND gate is required then I will use this NAND gate what I have designed, not what is in the library of SANA. Okay. So for designing NAND gate using MOSFET, what we need, we need first of all, we need NMOS. So it is NMOS here. We need two NMOS actually. and most done what else we need we need a uh, voltage source okay. so I will go for voltage source here it is we need uh, actually we need two voltage source at input side and one voltage at the output side but uh, I, I am not going to use this uh, one voltage at output side okay right now I have deleted this one Instead of that, what we will use here, we will use one VDD. Okay. Here you can see in MEX, we have one VDD. We will keep it here. And uh, I will show you how to use this VDD. Okay. So, in this, what we need first, we will connect all this circuit. Okay. So, we will connect this. what we need to connect we need this both of this dotted because this is a input my a input will come from here and we need both of this this is dotted like this okay so and from here I will connect them this is a input and from here I will connect this is my b and one thing I forgot we need one ground also so I will select one ground and I will keep it here what else so, so again we will connect this one ground and uh, connect this also from ground no problem connect this again from this ground ok now what we need we need uh, output uh, ok so one thing I forgot how to connect this VDD so for connecting this VDD we again need one voltage source here and we need one ground control C and control D here now and this VDD control C control D here ok this don't comes under circuit just to give supply, we have connected VDD from this voltage source. Okay. So, what else we need? We need output port. So I will give it here. Okay. Out. It's okay, no problem. And we will connect it using wire. So, 
this is my NAND gate using MOSFET and MOS and MOS. Okay, we have. I, I, you must be designed this in your theory class. So I'm not getting into why we use MOS like this and then MOS like this parallel and series connection because uh, these things you would have known because you have attended your theory classes. Okay, what uh, I will do? I will change this voltage source, which is A. Think it as A. I will name it as A okay. and uh, what I will do, I will okay. Here I have to change. This is, yeah. uh, in this master interface on right hand side, you have to change it from DC to bit. And what you will do, uh, make it 0, 1, 0, uh, first of all make it 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, okay, 4 input, 5 bit, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, okay. so this is my A, now same thing we will do with B, we will give it name as For this master interface, I will change it to bit and uh, I will start this one with 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay. So, this is my A and B input, and this is my output. Next thing, what we have to do, we have to observe this in voltage form. So, I will give print voltage command here. At A input, at B input, and at output. Okay. So they have given print voltage command also. No problem. And uh, this is in. I think this will be important. Yeah, no problem with that. We will check with this that uh, whether it has seven warning. Timing. Okay. We have to connect this. that uh, below you can see design checking complete one cells have been checked zero error one warning we have found the warning is NAND shield is a VHPL reserved name so they have reserved this name of NAND so this is just a warning so we don't have to worry about it very much okay so this is our Next thing what we have to do, we have checked it, now we have to go for simulation, we will add library path here, I have already shown the people how to add these paths, okay. so just add this library path here, add this, now go for uh, these parameters thing, because we are not adding these things, now we will go for transient, 100 nanosecond, maximum step time is 10 nanosecond, this is done, okay, and we will run the simulation.
and we will separate this one and we will observe the output. So this is my A input which is start with 0 and 1. Okay, this is my B input which is start with 1 and 0. Okay, like this it goes on. So as you can see at 0, 0, what is the NAND output according to the NAND proof table? At 0, 0 it should be 1. At 1, 0 it should be 1. At uh, 0, 1 means if in both the inputs any one input will be 0, then my NAND output will be 1. That's what we can see here. Okay, in both the inputs, there is always one input as zero. Okay, whether it will be a zero or b zero, but here at fifth bit, you can see my b is also a is also one and my b is also one. Okay, because of this, I am getting NAND output as zero, and after this, it will repeat for me. What is this glitch here? Because this of rise time and this of fall time, it first shows the fall time and then it goes to the rise. So this is what when we change from 0 to 1, you will get one glitch in gate. So we have to consider these things also, I will show you, okay. So this is my NAND bit, okay. You have to save this and the same thing you have to perform with NOR gate. I am not saving this, but you have to save this and you have to perform the same experiment for NOR gate and you have to save that NOR gate, NAND gate. Okay. What else we can do with this NAND gate? Okay, so what I will do here, I will delete this voltage source, I will delete this voltage source, I will delete this one, this one. Okay, we don't need print voltage right now, we don't need print voltage right now. Okay, we don't need this wire also, we don't need this wire also. We don't need print voltage right now, and I will delete this PDD also. Okay. So this is my an AND gate without any input. What we will do? We will connect one input port from here, and we will name it as first A. Okay, and let's uh, let me go like this here. So this input port is will be connected to the wire. Got it. Next, what we will do, we will come downward and we will connect. I have connected A input port. I have to connect now B input port also. So I will connect one B input port also. I will name it as B. No problem. B. And uh, this thing goes by the way. Okay. I will connect this one to the wire. is done. See, I have connected two inputs A and B and uh, using in port and one output using out. Okay. Okay. Uh, one thing I missed because uh, what I want to say that you change this width and length of NMOS and PMOS and see the output like you have done in your CMOS. Okay. There also you have to see the output using changing W by L ratio and here also you have to change this W by L ratio and you have to observe the output. What are the changes you are getting in your output by varying this W and L? Because, because we have to consider this W and L ratio variation in our future design, schematic design. Okay? So please do that in your homework. In this W by L ratio of PMOS and NMOS at different different ratio observe the output what is the rise time you are getting rise time fall time is there any changes that you have to observe got it so okay so coming to this what uh, i am doing here this is my nand gate uh, constructed one nand gate and uh, what we have to do here i am going to change this nand gate into sim, uh, symbol okay see i haven't connected any voltage source as input i haven't connected any voltage source as BDD also. We have just given one symbol BDD. Okay. We haven't connected any source with BDD. We will use this in our next, uh, this NAND gate in our next schematic and there we will connect this BDD or A, B input, whatever we want to give it to it. Okay. So what we will do here for changing this into symbol, we will go to setup, uh, sorry, cell and we will go for generate symbol. 
design name is NAND gate only so no problem with that everything is okay you don't have to do anything just click on submit okay so you can see the cell name is NAND one output port is there two input port is there you see the block diagram of NAND gate you don't see the circuit inside it you just see the block symbol okay so think this as a block symbol only which has two inputs and one output okay and using this at left hand side you can save this whole thing here yeah. now what we can do we can we can go for different thing we can use this for different thing you can see under the name design name of nand underscore gate you will see this nand gate okay and from here in cell you will go for new cell okay whatever you want to design okay and there you can use this one but you have to make sure that under the name of NAND underscore gate okay you have to have same design name under which all these libraries you are creating I will show this in your next class how this we, how we will use our created library in different semantics okay so this is how a symbol is generated okay you will save this thing and uh, check the output and include the screenshot of these things and the waveform with your name also on that screenshot means on your design and on your waveform okay so this is your next experiment thank you okay that's all for today